Okay, greetings. I'm here to give you one more update on our project. Um, this is really a big day for us. Because um, this is the weekend that we have to get all the base cabinets in and leveled. Because on Monday morning, the counter people are going to come and measure for and make our template for our countertops. So it's a big rush to get ready because it took us a while to get the appointment. And then, of course, there's a waiting time. I have, this is Meriwether. Meriwether, Meriwether, would you like to show the kitchen? Um, as you can see, we still are in a real big mess. I'm just scanning around here. This is our uh, workshop here. Um, the paper here on the floor is covering the new floor. We do have the new floor half done, about half done. The bedroom is finished, the hall not touched at all. It's still the entrance hall and down the hall, still the old floor. Um, but we do have it to here. This is where, just a little beyond where the wall was. As you can see, there's the beginning of the hearth on the fireplace. And we have paper down covering this floor, protecting it. This paper is going to come up today because today we're ready to start um, cabinets. As you can see, if some, if there's been a few, let me back up here without tripping. Um, there's been a few, a few things have happened. We do have paint on the walls. Um, this is my refrigerator back in the kitchen. It's not pushed back into place. My husband is off at Home Depot get in the uh, attachments. He's got to drill through the hall, to the, through the wall this morning to hook up the hose for the ice maker. Um, but anyway, the walls have been painted. The window, this was once this wall here, just to the left of the refrigerator, was the window that looked out onto the front yard that has been closed up. The outside has been stuccoed. Um, over here, again, I'm going to be moving. The corner that used to be <laughs> the old refrigerator hole um, has been painted and we have done a lot of new wiring. We've added wires for microwave and for appliances. The plumbing has been moved, ready for the sink. The new window in place, now a larger size. This is something new, if I can get it, if you can see it, under these blankets. It's my new stove, double oven, gas range. Very excited about it. Um, it's being protected right now. It's not, it is hooked up, but of course not back in place yet. We found when we did get the stove delivered and hooked up, the um, back of the wall looked a little different from what it was supposed to look like. So it's really going to probably have to have a little adjustment made to get it tucked back against the wall tight. To my husband's chagrin, he's very annoyed with that. But there's nothing that can't be fixed. Anyway, up here we have, this is a hood area. Up here we have the electrical moved in there. Uh, place for the TV mount, etc. We still don't know what we're going to be doing. To the fireplace, we have not made that decision yet. It's just in place. It's just sort of stuck there. But anyway, this is as far as we're going to go right now with this because this is as far as the kitchen cum cupboards go. Um, I'm very... Uh, oh, and the, and the important part is the ceiling has been closed up. I will show you that. Oh, let me get back here and pan up. The ceiling has been closed. There you can see the heating vent, which had to be rerouted. Um, as to a ceiling, we changed to a ceiling mount rather than a wall mount. That shows you just about where the wall used to be. The only thing that is left of this ceiling, we have gotten this far. See, we're patching drywall, busily, busily patching drywall. And then here we have putting a beadboard paneling over top of the drywall on the ceiling, which is going to give it a nice straight finish, but boy, is that a bugger to do. It's a very big bugger. Um, we had to get some help with it yesterday. 
we had a ladder for each. I have to go up on the uppermost ladder, uppermost step of the ladder to uh, reach the ceiling to help. And I found I'm fine when I have a wall in front of me, refrigerator in front of me, something I can put a hand on. But as soon as you get me out into the middle of this floor up on top of one of those ladders, I scream like a baby. I'm scared to death to be up there just floating in space. So it was it was sort of nasty. We had a one of our guys from the, from the from the company come and give us a hand yesterday. <laughs> and they were they managed to get all of this paneling done which we were trying to get it passed so we could paint it. It has been painted. Um we don't have the trims on it, of course, and the seam in the middle there where you join where there I think you can see the seam. We had to gap it, you see, so it doesn't buckle. Uh, there's a crack there. It goes across because they're eight foot lengths. And that will have a trim piece, a nice trim piece, which will look like it's supposed to be there. I mean, it will be, it'll look really nice. It'll help define, make it a little bit of a design. That'd be kind of nice. So um, anyway, it's been really excited, and I'm very excited today because today we get to get in the boxes. These just represent a few of the boxes over here. This is all the doors, I think. All the bigger boxes, and then we have here are the, some of the covers. Our garage is, the corner of the garage is full of boxes. Little tiny Ikea boxes with bits and bits that we have to put together today. So as soon as my husband gets back, we're going to tear up this paper, and we are going to, uh, he's going to do the refrigerator, and um, then we can start putting boxes together. I just want to take one quick minute just to show you, um, this is a construction zone. It makes so much dirt. It's easier to work. This is, makes it easier to work, though, because you do have a clean slate in here. But I want to pan around. I <laughs> can't believe I'm doing this, but I'll show you the realities of kitchen remodeling. This is how we are living. This part, we're jammed in. There's our old drawers along the bench here that we're just using. And, of course, the drywall dust is just a mess and sawdust and everything else. So um, every time we get something out of one of these doors, we have to clean it. Microwave here. Um, of course, there's the dog biscuits and our bottle of wine. And we have a toaster. I can show you this. This is our breakfast. Here's our toaster, our water kettle, <laughs> where we make our tea. And then, of course, here is our little space here where we're, this is our entire kitchen prep area. I'm squished in this end of the living room now. We have a crock pot and we're using this to keep food in. And between this uh, tabletop grill and the crock pot and the toaster, that's about it for us. I'm really sick of it. I'm sick of the whole idea. I'm trying to live in this little tiny, little tiny space. But this is the reality. If you want to remodel, it's just not pretty. It's not pretty at all. There goes Goose. Goose, say hello. Goose. Goosey. Oh, and pie back. There they go. Anyway, this is not pretty. I think I will give it a minute. And uh, I'll turn this off for a minute, and I might turn it back on when my husband comes back home and give him a chance to make some reflections. But anyway, that's where we are in the project right now. Thank you for those who have been asking. Uh, thank you very much for your interest, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're back. It's been about two days. Actually, it feels like a lot longer than two days. And um, our goal this weekend was to get the cupboards in place. But we were supposed to have a, an appointment today. This is Monday, the 31st of March. They were going to come and measure, make our templates for our countertops. Um, that did not happen. But <laughs> we gave it a good go this weekend, and we got all the cupboards in place, the bases in place, so that um, we're ready for them. So I'm going to just scan around here and show you what we have. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, the refrigerated placement on the wall. Cupboards above, a little bit to the right. There will be more upper action going on to the right of the refrigerator, also on this wall that is now bare, but... That'll be coming later. And here we see, um, this is now the wall 
the new window. This is the original corner. Original corner there, there we go. Where the, the old refrigerator used to be. Uppers in place, new window below. Uh, counter, the uh, cupboards. The new sink placement will be here. Will be here. Uh, more cupboards. My new gas range, double oven gas range, I'm very excited about. And more cupboards to the right. There will be things up here. There will be a range hood up here. We see, as you see, we have wiring. And here we are to the fireplace again. So that's, this is now the new, whoo, I'm jumping, bumping into everything. This is now the new, going to be kitchen. <laughs> Um, it looks pretty good. We had some bumps along the road. As you can see, oh, we have the floor. I think I showed you that earlier. Um, this is not what the cupboards are going to look like, of course. If you're familiar with Ikea, you will know that all the base, all the, the primary components for the cupboards are white. The fixtures inside are, are, uh, all on tracks. It's a great tracking system. If you've gone to Ikea, if you haven't gone to Ikea, I suggest you go and go into the cupboards. All of their cupboards, not just kitchen cabinets, operate on these extend these um, really cool, very, let me see if I can get it. Where's the light the best? They go on these racks here, as you can see, we have to install. And as the door comes out, it's very fun to play with. And then there's a dampener, damper on the back, so when you close the door, you push, and it just continues, 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 whoops, continues, continues, well, it's supposed to. Why doesn't that one work? Huh. There it goes, continues back to a soft close. It works better when there are two. But all of this interior hardware had to be mounted, <laughs> very complicated. We had bits and pieces of everywhere in our house over the weekend. That was really very difficult. Friday night we were up until, let me give you something interesting to look at. Here's my stuff. Um, we were up until 4 a.m. Sunday morning, I mean Saturday morning, and then last night again, till close to three before we went to bed. I think my husband was probably three. I went to bed a little after two to try to get this ready for the covers. Everything had to be leveled and leveled and attached to the wall, etc. Now, as you can see, they're also up on legs. Let me see if I can get that. What is the cool system as well? Can I get you the legs? I think you can see underneath all of these. Um, well, here on this cupboard, you can see it. They're on these legs. You mount them on the legs. And then that's how you adjust to level. We have actually ledger bars in the back. But you can use, use legs in the back as well. This cupboard <laughs> above the refrigerator. Very heavy send of a gun. Oh, and you can see our ceiling there above. Now, this will be all trimmed. You won't be able to see any of that. And of course, we will have trimming. There's always bones that you come to, and there's always little problems that have to be worked out. We had a little problem here. We just found today. We have to do something about this. As you can see here, this is the door frame going out to the garage. This area here, whoops, the door won't be able to open really. So we'll have to get rid of that. But anyway, it looks good. It's looking good. And as I said before, there's going to be custom cupboards. Over here, we're going to have a little bit of a, a custom treatment here in the corner. We're going to build something in there that extends out along this wall. Where does that blank, empty slate? It's going to be beautiful. So anyway, that was just a quick update. Wanted to show you that. Hopefully we'll have counters soon. Um, I think today I'm going to try to work my way through the boxes of all the drawer bits. Try to get all these drawers put together and mounted in the slots. And then I can start <laughs> getting some of the things away. I've still not used my range yet. The gas... Uh, hookup apparently 
was not installed in the right place. So we have to have the, our friend come back today and look at it. I think he's going to be doing a little bit of tweaking back there. But it's usable. And then we're going to use this. Very anxious to use. So anyway, that's my update. You're starting to see the very bare bones of my kitchen. And soon, very soon, we're going to have a lot of really nice changes taking place in this kitchen and I will be very happy to be able to show to you in its entirety what it's going to look like. I think it's going to be very, very nice. So that's all for now. Thank you for tuning in. If you were interested, thank you for taking the time and showing interest. I appreciate that. And if you're going to be doing remodeling kitchens in your future, do yourself a favor and stock your pantries now with lots of red wine. It's very important for the, it's a very important process of the job. Okay, bye for now.